Welcome to the Black Lodge Games Podcast. I am Nick, and as always, I am joined by Matt. Uh, today we have a bit of a content double feature episode. Uh, we're going to be first talking about how best to vocalize your character, describe your character's actions in in individual scenes in your games before we pivot over to another revisit of some art examples to see just how far we've fallen, uh, specifically with regards to various editions of uh, the Exalted game line and see just how creatively bankrupt uh, a lot of current products, uh, even those who have gotten a tremendous amount of money in crowdfunding yeah, uh, and why you should always return, return to passion, return to creativity and imagination. But and most importantly, return to monkey. Absolutely. And uh, with that being said, Matt, why don't you kick us off? This has been a, a, a topic of conversation which has come up in the sort of online RPG commentary sphere. What tense should you be describing your character's action in? Um, what what is best uh, with regard to immersing your character, keeping yourself in the perspective of, of your character's headspace. Yeah, I mean, this uh, it's kind of hard to describe for me because this is how we've done it since we've been yeah. playing games. Um, yeah. Even when we were in less than ideal circumstances, less than ideal mm -hmm. tables, uh, the idea at its base is that you're playing pretend and you are putting yourself in the mindset of another person, of your character. And when you're doing that, that does include actually speaking in character to the other people yes. at the table, to the game master who's representing, you know, the and portraying the various NPCs and monsters that you'll meet. Um, and for me, it speaking in character and not just saying, um, I tell him, okay, we accept the mission, but actually vocalizing this as my character would say it gets me a lot closer to the character and gets me more immersed in the game. Um, and this is kind of the, the thing that we're always harping on is we want immersion in the game and you can get immersed very quickly. Um, obviously over time that becomes easier and it's better the longer that you play, but um, even just jumping right in with a new character and uh, actually pretending to playing pretend and being them is uh, will get you there very, very quickly. Um, easy example right. of this was just the our cyberpunk game that we've been running um, that is actually returning shortly. Uh, very soon. Potentially. <clears throat> um, again, like I had made that character. I hadn't finished my character sheet until, you know, mm -hmm. 12 to six hours before the game started. Uh, I came up with... I just fleshed out the basic details of his backstory based on the life path events that we rolled up um, and just jumped in and knew that I was playing this kind of corpo asshole who's too cool for school and being a little arrogant and a little cocky, but also a little paranoid. Um, and I don't understand people who don't... <laughs> who can't right. do this and, or won't do <laughs> who it can't or won't yeah. do this the um, won't thing is the weirdest part of it to me uh because yes i don't i don't get that like the 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 aversion to it and we've said this before i think it has to just be probably based in fear of feeling silly um exactly but to me that's like yeah. come on grow up grow up and yeah, play and pretend of, like an adult being... <laughs> right and that fear Fear, which is somewhat understandable for a new player. Um, presumably, it would be more understandable for someone who's just starting role-playing role games as a kid or as a teenager rather than a full-grown adult with responsibilities who should already have a, a more solid uh, and grounded um, sense of themselves. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, not, not the case. <laughs> yeah, it is a fear of looking silly, of getting to, but really of getting immersed, of getting to um, caught up in their character in the moment, in the scene, 
um, and then being mocked or being, um, you know, ironically chided for taking something too seriously yep. or, you know, getting too caught up in the moment, as, as I said. And that fear, it's been repeated so often again and again and again throughout the years and, and the decades at this point. Um, into this weird, um, again, that race to the bottom, as we've, as we've mentioned several times before, this inversion, you know, yep. your weakness is your strength. Right. You know, the more, the more you pull back, the more, you know, refined you are, the more, you know, the more uh, attractive and, and better um, it is. And, and there's been a lot of, um, what would you say, um, conversation or debate or what have you between you know how, how do i role play my character do i mm -hmm. do it do i do it in first person or in third person and as we've uh you know alluded to many times in other um you know, facets of, of the game it's a false dichotomy the yep. answer as you correctly say you're not speaking in first first person primarily. I do this, or in third person, my character or John the fighter does this. But you're talking in character. Yeah. You're having a dialogue with an NPC or with another player character. Um, or describing your you demeanor. Be, you know. Describing your demeanor. Yeah. When you have to, when you ha the only time you know a tense really comes into play um is you're, you're describing nonverbal actions yeah. or nonverbal um, emotions or just not not you know, situations which are by their nature nonverbal yeah moving in those examples you should taking be doing actions in first person yeah com uh, completely agree obviously um but, <laughs> but mm -hmm. um yeah the 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 whole thing is that the, this distinction between first and third person, you're right. It is a false dichotomy. And the thing is, you're going to be describing things in third person all the time unless you're mm -hmm. LARPing. Um, and right. we aren't really into LARPing, uh, so no. that's, not our, that's not our jam. But a lot of it is going to be describing your character's actions and what you're doing. And sometimes a little bit of uh, describing a little bit of their internal state that's going to become kind of externalized in their in their demeanor and uh this is the thing where we like a lot of flavor and active voice in the games that we buy and that, and that we read uh and i like that in my role play as well like i like it when people are not only getting into character but getting into uh describing the things that their characters are doing in a way that is congruent with their character you know if you're playing like a sleazy character like really kind of playing that up uh, even when you're not talking, but when you're, uh, you know, you're, you're eyeing, you know, the, the, the gold on the table or whatever that doesn't belong to you. And, and like just to, describing that kind of like greed and hunger that you have for it, you know, yes. um, or likewise, if you're playing like some paragon of lawful virtue, um, like really getting into that and, and the, the disgust that you, you, you see and the disappointment in seeing, people who act in ways that they know they shouldn't and they that they know is destructive to them um mm, right it all adds to the the game it adds to the atmosphere for the other players uh i always do this as as the gm as well um i mostly gm um so i'm doing this a lot but it you want you want atmosphere in the game like i don't i don't yes. it's like and this is the thing that we're perpetually coming up against is that this is not a, this is not like you do the hex crawls or you do, you play the rules as written or you role play, you know, like you can do both and you probably should be doing both uh, for the most part, um, unless your rule system is bad and you need to make adjustments. That's, that's totally right. fine. But um, this is like, you're, you're, you're cheating yourself out of this extra layer of of flavor and i what i would consider a kind of a core ingredient of this cake that you're baking the entire time with everyone else when you don't do this um it just it just makes things better yeah no you're you're absolutely right again why you know why is this why is this matter why are people talking about it this matters because 
as we've said from the very beginning, the whole purpose, the whole thing, which is the, the core aspect, which is most appealing, which is most memorable, and in the moment most engaging, is heading into that scene yeah. through the eyes of the character. Uh, even when you are describing nonverbal actions, whether it's your demeanor, whether it's your, your body language, <clears throat> or just a simple or even a complex action yeah. that your character is, is taking, you want to, and you have to, if, you're, if you want to be role-playing in an immersive way, if you want to get as close to the character as possible. And it's, which, which in to, turn gets you as close mm -hmm. to the experience in the world. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You have to do that in a way which doesn't force you to take a bird's eye view to take a tactical right. wargaming view or to take a strategic um sort of an out of game strategic view you your character your actions your thoughts your emotions are not pieces on a chessboard or on a hex on, on a hex map as the case may be or on a battle grid they are for all intents and purposes you you are your character that's what you're trying to do and when you <clears throat> when you're describing the actions you should be saying i do this i yep. feel this it's not it's also not an excuse or an opportunity to sort of sit back um and what would you say in a monotone or in a detached way just narrate from on high what your character is doing <clears throat> get into it you know you know, I go, I go in and I, you know, I, 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 I grab, I grab him by the, I grab him by the, by the, the, the throat. I, I knock the coins yeah. away. I snatch his hand. You know, that lawful, uh, ind individual who, who sees, sees a thief, or, you know, like, like you said, like, you know, I, I, I slide that extra, that extra drink over that I, I, I paid, uh, I paid an extra coin, which I also pickpocketed before coming yeah. into this. This tavern, I slide that that his way. I wait another, you know, after the conversation is over, and I lean in and I, I, I you know, I, 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 I cut his purse or what, whatever the case yeah. may be. I slip that extra ace into the into the into the cards, or I, you know, I use my way to die to to win that 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 big pot by cheating. Um, and even know, and all the while, you should be dispersing this with actual dialogue right you know what was your character do is he antagonizing the person on the other side of the poker table is he chastising the individual uh for repeatedly uh you know i i, I don't know uh uh you know poor, poor behavior if you're a, a more righteous or lawfully minded individual this this is what it's about right and in this again it's like even in this especially applies in in my opinion in combat that's some mm. of the combat's fun. Like I'm not going to I'm not going to not combat. Yep. And if you have a, a a combat heavy game, our games tend to not really be that combat heavy. It happens. Mm -hmm. Like uh sure. it happens frequently enough, but it's not the f it's not always the focus. But yeah. when combat happens, we get into it, you know? We're yeah. describing. If I if I, you know, am smashing orcs in, I'm I'm describing, you know, how I'm my mace is breaking their skull in and, and their brains and exactly. eyes are pouring out and like get like get into it and get into describing, yeah. you know, what's actually happening in the scene versus uh, hopefully not per <laughs> what's happening with the minis. <laughs> right. <You know? laughs> um, yeah, you know, you're right. Get into it. Yeah. Your character is certainly into it. You would be if you were in a life or death situation. I can, I yeah. can tell you that. Yeah, I know. And and that the thing is when you do that, you you can't help but get more excited about it. You know? Yes. It becomes more fun when you do this. <laughs> and, yeah. and it keeps you anchored to like the wavelength of of the character. It keeps right. you tied to the character. As the uh, as soon as you sort of check out or you know step outside of the world, um you're you're di you're divorced. You broke you've broken the you know the chain, right? You've broken the flow. Yeah. Um, you have to. You have to get back into it. Yeah, and it's uh, there is no way in which this diminishes the game, and it only adds to it. And that's again what we're all about: is we want people to get more 
out of their games. Um, yes. Even if you are having a lot of fun and you're very engaged in your game, I cannot see a circumstance in which this is the inferior experience. Uh, and again, this right. doesn't mean that you have to do uh, accents or voices, but it's also like you don't not have to do those. You can right it's that can not, add a lot it, to it, even if it's a bad accent. They it's always more, add. Yeah, it's add to it's it. <laughs> it's more fun to to get in into it, get into it and 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 at least try to do that. Um, and it's uh, I really don't understand the the distance. I don't want distance from this. I want to be close and in it and and cuz that's exactly. how you that's how you get these incredible memories and that's what I'm after. That's what I want. Um yes. and, if, with, and if anything we're saying is is sort of resonant you you out there will agree this is the prime the prime goal. This is the prime attraction. Um you can get quote unquote immersed in <clears throat> the back and forth of of rounds and mm -hmm. socializing with your friends and describing tactically what you're doing, let's say in combat especially, that is not what you should be immersing yourself in. The yeah. only thing you should be trying to immerse yourself in is the character and the scene. And the imagination. That character. Yeah. Yes. And and using your imagination. That's the coolest part of this to me is like the the and I, and I can't even call it a movie going on in my head, but the imagery that mm -hmm. I'm seeing in my head is so cool and so memorable um, that I uh, I would not want anything less than that. And uh, who was uh, RPG is dumb? Actually, he had a really good point, and it might have been a Twitter thread somewhere, but um, mm. he was talking about uh, somebody brought up minis, and he said, you know, I'm a firm believer that if you uh, play with minis in your sessions, you're going to remember minis, you know? And I kind of think that's true um, yeah. because this, for me, that focuses everything down to the, the physical objects and the, the pseudo physical nature of the, the game board, you know? Uh, Cause I was yeah. never, I was never in a group that had like really high end, you know, uh, scenery or anything like that. But even mm -hmm. then it's still like, you're going to be focusing and looking and thinking about it in terms of those pieces of pewter or plastic or whatever it is. Correct. Um, and that's not how I want to think about it. Cause I want to think about everything going on in my imagination. And this is like, people will talk about, you know, the usually, uh, when there's a great book and it gets made into a movie, the book is always better than the movie. Certainly yeah. the movies, a lot of times they, they deviate from, aspects mm -hmm. of the book that were much better but a, a large part of that is because you have an image in your mind of what's going on that is unique and immersive and in and, and in ways that are totally like completely uh i was gonna say holographic that's not the word i'm looking for but there's a there's okay. a a hyper reality to that that is taken away when you see it on the screen when you see someone right. else's no vision. There's no limits to what your imagination can, right. can fill. And that immediately gets capped when you see it on the big screen. Even if it's a, a fairly good um, adaptation. Yeah. That's it's... always going to flavor um, your imagination going forward. And yeah. it's almost always going to take something away. Exactly. It diminishes it in some, some capacity. And in a role-playing game where you are primarily, uh, if you're just doing pen and paper and sitting around a table and then using some dice to, you know, decide the outcomes of things, um, all of that imagery, all of that is in your mind's eye. And mm -hmm. all of that has that incredible hyper-reality to it. And everyone's going to have a different vision of how it actually played out, like in their mind, of like the specifics and what it looked like. And I think that's right. awesome. That's like the cool, unique thing yeah. about these games. And it's it's like, it's really sad to me that people deliberately cheat themselves out of this by- They deliberately settle for less. Yeah. 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 I don't like that. Kind of a, a mis <laughs> either, again, <clears throat> misplaced pride or misplaced um, apprehension, you know, social yeah. nerves, let's say, 
And, you know, this is... Yeah, I think nerves is the big barrier to doing it. But I, but then there's also, I think what you're saying, uh, there's also this, like, looking back, this pride of, like, of course I don't do it the theater kid way. Of course I don't do it that way because that's gay or that's stupid. Right. Uh, or that's that's lame. Um, yeah. And I, I just think that that is... Maybe you were with bad players again. We're yeah. all about it's all of the things that you table. said. You, yeah, you, 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 you <laughs> said it's a, it's a uh, what what's the word? Uh, um, inversion, a uh, reflection of uh, you know it. These are these are very sort of sophomoric um, like criticisms, right? Yes. That um, if you if you took if <clears throat> if you took the hours you're putting into this activity seriously at all mm -hmm. um and sincerely you know and sincerely yeah. um you you should realize they're self-evidently incorrect yeah um to say to say the least you know and like you said <clears throat> in, a, in a movie or especially when you're when you're talking around around the table when you're um engaged in the scene um your imagination is is firing off that's why thinking about how you are expressing your character how you're vocalizing your character how you are describing the nonverbal actions and um you know uh emotions of the character is so important because that is um that, that is the interface, right? Yeah. That is the only interface. Certainly as a player character, as a player portraying a character, the only way you're really interfacing with that scene beyond crude mechanics mm -hmm. is um, is the dialogue, is the description of the action, whether it's in combat or whether it's out of combat, whether a social situation or uh, a dungeon crawl, situation or an overland travel whatever the, the particular scene or circumstance might be the only way you're actually um interfacing the only way you're building that shared imagination and the imagination you have just yourself in your mind as to what the scene and what the, your character is like is through the way in which you explain you voice what the character's actions and words are. Yeah. If all you're doing is holding back at every step of the way <clears throat> and maintaining sort of a bird's eye view third person perspective, even if you try and you know reach the character, there's something it's something about you know the human psychology. If I say my character does this, or my character feels this way, or my character reacts in a certain manner based off of that action or whatever the description of the scene is, you're putting tremendous amount of, of barriers between yourself and that character. You alleviate a lot of that if you're describing a nonverbal action by saying, I do this. I feel that way. Yeah. Um, it's just the way human mind and words work together that you're keeping a tighter leash, getting closer to the character, and ideally as most and as often as you can. Into the world. You should be leaning on dialogue, mm -hmm. talking. If you can express something verbally in, in a way that makes sense in the scene, Yeah. always do that rather than abstract it out and describe it, even if you're describing it in a first-person manner. Yeah. Dialogue, talking in character. And again, we've said it before elsewhere, this should be the easiest thing imaginable because that's how we interact in the real yeah. world. Yeah, exactly. We never describe our actions. We just and, talk about them or we do them. And and if you have a good GM, even if you're like if you're just doing a uh, bog standard dungeon crawl, like if you have a good GM, they're going to make that dungeon seem scary and atmospheric or weird, you know, yeah. like the they're going to be describing things 
um, I would hope, in uh, a, a detailed and evocative manner. Um, this doesn't obviously mean telling you how many screws are in each hinge on the door. That's not what I'm talking right. about by detailed description, but giving the, the relevant details of the feel of the world. And when you're getting... because. I'm sure that there are some players out there that are playing in this kind of distanced way that may have a GM who is very, has a very active voice and is very, um, mm -hmm. has like really interesting descriptions of where they are and can set the tone and the mood. And the thing is, if you do the same thing, only just limited to your own character, and this is also a great way, I think, to, to learn how to GM is learning how to do this for just one character. Just you, mm -hmm. uh, your, as you as the player, um, really kind of getting uh, into this and trying to make evocative descriptions and that makes sense within the world uh, of what you're doing. Um, you add to what the GM is is giving you. It makes the the experience better for everyone when everyone is doing this and everyone is in sync uh, and kind of on fire like this. It like it makes it just makes everything so much cooler so much better and and i do think that that like i like i just said this is a this is a good way to start if you've never gm'd think about doing this as a player try to get in the mindset of your character because as a gm you're going to have to be in the mindset of many characters many npcs that mm. people meet and uh and you're gonna have to kind of take on even for monsters and environmental hazards and things like that you have to get involved and you have to get immersed in the world and if you don't do that uh you're just you're you're stunting your own growth as a player and a gm and again you are cheating yourself out of something amazing and this is why we are so uh vitriolic about this sometimes because it's mm -hmm. like we've we have we have climbed the mountain we have contemplated the mysteries and, yes. and had this revealed you know we've <laughs> we've had this experience we have tasted the ambrosia and it's like we want that for everyone <laughs> yeah or or not but we know it's not going to be for everyone but we want that for people those who want it those who want it and we and you should want to want it that's the mm -hmm. thing you should want a better game you should want to do better and have a better experience. This is something that is one of these just absolute poisonous aspects of our age is this, yes. this focus on mediocrity <clears throat> and the, the suppression of the desire for goodness and for experience. And you should fight against that in every aspect of your life. And you should fight against that um, not, I mean, like, don't start a fucking fight at your table. That's not what I'm saying. But, but you should want this for your table. You should want better things. Um, yes. Yeah. If someone at your table, alternatively, if though, GM, if you take our advice and destroy all your friendships, we are totally okay with that too. Again. Yes. Yes. We will never be. Yes. Yeah. Some <laughs> people need to be need to be called out. Um, you know. The idea needs to be called out. I think. Yes. <clears throat> because again, we're yeah. not talking about any people. person in particular. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, I, I can imagine some people in my own, my own gaming history. You know? <laughs> well, yes, I've, I know. I've I have had, some yeah. of those too. Yeah. <laughs> but, but again, like, I'm not, you know, like there's no one, we're not calling anyone out. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you, if you have over a 100 IQ, uh, you can understand the words that we're yeah. saying. Um, but no, you're, <clears throat> you're completely right. If someone at your table, or someone who's you're you're watching um, other RPG commentators, whoever they might whoever they might be. And we're not calling like you said anyone out in particular, but you we all see this everywhere. Um, uh, the object of the game is just to have fun in the most simplistic way possible. Yeah. There is no way of playing the game engaging with the character that is better or worse than any wrong. other this is wrong this is wrong it's 100 percent wrong yeah you can't there is a level of quality there's a yes. hierarchy of value there is there are people who do play and who run games better in 
some cases much much much, much better. better yeah than other people and what's more you can get better you yeah. can improve you do not have to uh relegate yourself to enduring these uh like like you said matt these mediocre monotonous mundane game experiences um as we've said in previous episodes of of this this podcast even if you are stuck in one of these lukewarm games where there isn't much or indeed maybe any real emotion or engagement you play that you play the game enough you interact with the hobby enough you can't help but yeah despite those experiences um have these moments of real immersion with your character real engagement and excitement not because someone rolled a natural 20 or not because someone out of game uh, said that perfect movie one-liner at the exact moment to cause everyone to start laughing around the table because of something you or even a, a different character a different character has 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 done you know um just like just as really delving deep into your character and trying to get immersed makes it better for you and like you you said matt um a really good point which i hadn't considered until you you said it i uh, can make you a better gm or a potential gm yeah it's also going to make your character to other people and the gm around the table more memorable yeah your character is going to be immortalized uh, right, the, not just in your the mind. The things but... you do are going to be what's what's remembered. Exactly, exactly. And there is, I was kind of thinking of one more thing here because we talk about this, the the game, the audience I think that we've kind of rolled into and the space that we've rolled into. We've mm-hmm. we've tended to see more of the people who are like, I just want to roll dice. I just want to kill orcs. Uh, like nothing, nothing more than that. I don't want to add anything yep. on top of that. But there's also, I think, like the, the, the spoiled fruit of the gods, you know, like these games mm. where people are ostensibly trying to do what we're talking about, but it is like people at the table trying to one up each other in a performative way. Mm, and that right. can be ve- like you, I'm sure if you've been in a game that like that, you're going to be like, uh, you're so like, this sucks. Worse. Like, I don't want to do this. Like, let me go back to just yes. roll the dice, please. <laughs> like, I get, I get that. Yes. Like, um, that is also something that is. Um, that is a a false. That is a a a false path to what we're talking about. Yeah, it's a different type of poison, right? Because yeah. those people also are not really immersed in their no. character. They're trying to strategize what will get the most sort of social, right? You know, pop. From they are the group. they are trying to put on a show for people. Correct. And that is not what we are talking about. You should not be trying to put on a show. You should be trying to yes. engage as a character, and. It's there is a difference, and it it makes a big difference. Um, yes, it does. And I mean, I think on the, on that note, we can kind of segue into our next uh, our next topic because a lot of this is related. Um, this whole idea of imagination and inspiration and getting engaged and having standards and values and how your values influence what comes out of this game and what comes out, springs forth from your imagination um, yes. is to look at how bad things have gotten in certain game lines. Um, like mm-hmm. you said at the beginning, uh, we uh, I've been telling you a lot about the Exalted line, a game that you kind of uh, just ignored for a very long time, yep. uh, but a game that I've played in a lot and that I really, really love, uh, despite its many, many flaws. Um, mm. But... This was a game I started playing probably in 2006, uh, and okay. that was probably like that might have been the beginning of the second edition, I think. And then uh, mm. the the second edition was a huge success for White Wolf. There were many many products made for it. Um, a lot of really incredible stuff came out of it. A lot of not so great stuff came out of it. And then they. In 2013, I believe, they launched their Kickstarter for the third edition of this game, which was going to be kind of a reimagining, trying to bring it back a little bit more to its kind of mythic pulp roots um, Mm. and discarding what had become the iconic 
style of the game and replacing it with well you'll see you'll see <laughs> and we are we are talking of course about exalted correct yes exalted <clears throat> so let me switch over to my browser so i can navigate here um mm -hmm. so what you're looking at is the cover art of exalted third edition um which is just a little strange in my opinion um but i want to go through this this exalted third edition is like it, it says 686 pages it is a just Tremendous. massive yeah massive tome um it is way too complicated uh the the rule system and it's not complicated in terms of the core mechanic being complicated it's complicated in that um the sh sheer number of abilities and powers that you have at your disposal and how they interact situationally is uh it's just absurd um and it's not a fun game <laughs> in my opinion to, to, <laughs> to play because you've just got too many there's just too much to, to keep track of and even at the beginning you start your character and you get i think you get something like 15 powers <laughs> which is mm. a lot <laughs> insane yeah it's a <laughs> lot in any other game you know right might be a max level and not have 15 powers but you can already see here there's a, a vast difference between and can you see the mouse cursor in this i can't yes okay good there's a vast difference between this style and the style of second edition which is primarily uh, anime influenced. Um, this was something that, you know, it didn't work for everybody, but part of this game is that it is uh, very over the top. Your characters are uh, demigods that can, you know, you can do miracles, you can leap across mountains, you can do really absurd stuff, uh, and it's a whole lot of fun. And so it takes inspiration from a lot of, different mythologies across uh, world history, mashes them all together, and does it in this weird anime style, um, mm -hmm. which the people all have, uh, not here not so much, but you'll see in some of these uh, other the these comics is and much whatnot. The prevalent in, the, in right. the interior art. The interior art, you can see, is very heavily, there's a comic style to a lot of it, um, people have expressions. There's a lot going on. People have absurd weapons and armor. Um, all sorts of crazy shit going on. But when you you look at this, this person is like, he has ex facial expressions. He's mm -hmm. doing things, you know. Doing things. There's differences in perspective. There's or, action uh, happening. There are characters in this. And when you go to the third edition of Exalted and start looking at the art, there there are a couple of pieces in this book that are mm. really phenomenal. And there's a lot that are, and it, almost overwhelmingly, the art in this book is so fucking bland. Like, look yeah. at this. These people barely Incredibly have, flat. barely have an expression on their face at all. They barely have yeah. any detail on their face. Placid, how like bovine expressions right they've all got like it's like they're taking antidepressants right it's just a bunch of pictures of people standing in a line the the anime comic style is gone yep here we have a somewhat action pose but but it's not really it's what are they fighting what are they doing it's who washed, fucking knows washed out background yeah um again the entire uh, all the color looks flat, desaturated, and bland. And yeah, flat. It looks like a Xerox copy. Right. And this is this is uh, that book, that six hundred and eighty-six page third edition book. I don't recall how much it garnered on Kickstarter. Uh, but a like six hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So well it's over a, half a million dollars. It's insane. And this comic book art that you're seeing here, this isn't. These aren't oil paintings, right? No. This is not tremendously expensive, but it is a style, even if you don't like a comic book aesthetic, yeah. that is that is by design what they are going for. And these people, like you see on her face, it's a comic book style. It's not photorealistic. It's not meant to right. be. But there is depth, there's shadows, the action scenes are action scenes there's stakes right. there's, a, there's an opponent 
there's there are things which are and, happening and the the people are beautiful is the right. other thing yeah like these the the different art for the uh the major character types you can play is fucking awesome in this book it gives you a flavor of exactly who and what they are mm -hmm. like the the women are gorgeous the men are all like hulking fucking strong people yeah um idealized idealized forms. form uh and this yes. is like whether you like anime or not anime at least does have some appreciation for the human body uh sometimes right. to absurd exaggerated proportions yes. um that's the point of this based on right what, and i don't know and that is like the you point said, and feel i don't know much about this this game the way you've described it to me it's about people who I'm are larger than interested. life yeah it's yeah. people who are larger than life doing incredible feats of amazing power and yes. and expression and you look at like uh Again, we have a comic where there's action going on. There's people with facial expressions. And then we go to third right. edition. These people uh, barely boring. have faces. What are they doing? Where's that guy or girl? It's hard to tell right. in the background with the two swords. Where's she or he flying off to? Why? Uh, who who knows? Who knows? That the axe looks like it's... Oh, I know. Look at this and... thing. And like his hand, oh, it's like there's no detail in the hand actually gripping it. Like it's very bad. And when we get here, again, Same we're thing. looking at people with totally blank expressions just standing. This guy doesn't even have a face. Yeah. <laughs> this guy doesn't even have a face. There's no like no contrast to anything here. They're just standing right. in blank city. Bl um, yeah, blank half. It doesn't look like the, the picture has even been done. The right. The back background <clears throat> is drawn the uh the, the rooftops again flat xerox copied aesthetic and i am i'm not really an anime fan i'm not really a comic book fan i don't have a tremendous you're not a fucking weeb uh, is what you're saying I'm not yeah i'm not a weeb i don't have a, uh, a tremendous uh, appreciation going into this um for that art style and even i can recognize difference in quality yeah uh, um and the thing one is is more evocative yeah than the other the thing is this this first edition like i said there's some really good stuff in it and there's also uh some of the art pieces like this one um this i believe was probably done by uh melissa uren who was one of mm. the big artists on the previous edition in this core book there is some stuff that is a throwback to the previous edition that has that previous edition style that is very good mm -hmm. um this piece in particular is very cool to me this is one of the death lords like one of these like main antagonists that you can have in the game this is fucking cool there is depth here there is light and darkness this guy yeah. looks scary as fuck they All of evil. his proportions make sense. Like his limbs point in the right. correct directions and the correct perspective. They're evil. There's a mountain of fucking skulls. Uh, this mm -hmm. giant living fortress that they're on, if you know the lore. This is cool. But then we get shit like, and some of this stuff, like some of the pictures in this book are very funny. Um, like this. Okay, we're fighting the water elemental, which would be fucking cool. Except look. She's on Zoloft. No expression. She's on Zoloft. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? This giant water elemental. <laughs> and, there's a, and there's a cat, a cat man. The thing from The Abyss. Just the thing from the movie The Abyss, but with like yeah. a samurai demon face on it, <laughs> is staring yeah. you at the face, and you're just like, okay. I feel yeah, nothing I guess apart I feel, from I feel mild... nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then we get down to some of this stuff like which is uh uh oh somebody ate the cakes yeah i guess it's not even what? clear what she she did uh i guess there's a little bit of she's at least kind of hot ice. you know she's got like boobs yeah you know but what the yeah. fuck this person's wearing this fucking weird hat like what the hell is Again, that it's, it's also flat it's soft there's flat no soft there's exactly no, there's, there's no, no contrast perspective yeah, no yeah. contrast, no perspective, no depth. And when this book came out, people were pissed because the art sucks. And this is the thing is, this yeah. is after the art was upgraded. Um mm. because certain certain pieces <laughs> like look at this. Oh, it's a 
blocky golem man and we Blocky stabbed him with we, knives we and stabbed a, and, a stone or a metal thing and we all feel nothing about and we it. feel nothing look at their fucking faces there's just a uh, yeah. old person walking okay yeah. uh there is uh this piece in particular this one is one of the pieces that was replaced <laughs> so this is the better version of this picture by far and this is fucking stupid you have a glowing badger which is i think a lunar exalted in an animal form uh and two people running away from it. The The picture that was in this when the, the PDF got released after the Kickstarter was so egregious that like people were losing their mind over it. It was so yeah. bad. Just just unbelievable how bad some of this art is. But the thing is, this, the core book is actually fairly decent. When we get to the next game that they released, Exalted Essence, which is a condensed version of the game, a, a vastly simplified version of 3rd edition, um, this is what we get. Yeah. All of that these same aesthetic. weirdos. Except yeah. the, the aesthetic has been crystallized here, and it's so much worse. It's um, all that flat, desaturated... It's like it's like bad 5th edition art. art. Like, look at this. Bad 5th edition art, which is saying something. This is fucking terrible. Compare yeah. this to this. This yeah. is the same thing is happening. The the wild hunt has found one of these <clears throat> these uh, exalted that they are tasked with with hunting down as demons incarnate, and we get this. Yeah. Like the people's arms don't go the right way in in a lot of cases. Oh, yeah. uh, we've got someone with t a tentacle arm back here, I guess. Uh, yeah, these two, the green guy and the and the and the and the white guy, seem to have like. Very similar. Just looks like their heads have been swapped off. Yeah. Swapped off with some minor minor touch up. Again, the, the guy or the girl in the in the red. I uh, see a little bit of her her face. Doesn't seem to have any. No expression. No expression whatsoever. Not either like sneering in contempt or um like um overly arrogant prideful yeah like inquisitor um kind of kind of a, a a dynamic here no one is wounded except for the chick on her on her knees and um or dude who knows or dude it's hard again that's another thing it's hard yeah. it's hard to say in a lot of these, which these is cases which is intentional with this this edition because yeah. this this is something that is so ridiculous to me is that second edition is now looked back upon as being uh, like problem, extremely, or... extremely problematic and exploitative uh, and being too horny, basically. <laughs> and the, th the thing is, there is some of that. Like this is a game that got very sexualized at some point. Um, and it, they Everything decided... Everything is supposed to be up to the max and it's right. a, a comic book art. It's a comic book anime art style, exactly. Mm -hmm. And and they the thing is they deliberately decided to step away from that because it was like problematic and wrong and now people look back at, at second edition and they cite all these controversies about it that were not controversies really at the time except for maybe one of them um and they deliberately said you know they they found that there actually was a very large lgbt audience uh playing this game which is true uh the for whatever reason uh there were a lot of uh gay people that that play this game and so they decided to be more inclusive to that, um, which meant making everyone fucking ugly, I guess. Ugly and androgynous. Ugly and, and androgynous? And, and yeah. look at this. This is dog shit. This is so fucking this bad. Sucks. And and Who wants to play this? Yeah. We have them. This is the, equi the exalted equivalent of sitting in the coffee shop in Seattle. We got Seattle. some old bitch. Like, yeah. what the fuck is this? This is the thing that is so fucking weird to me is that like they the equating like we should be inclusive to gay people don't like attractive people. Right. <laughs> you know, it's like, right. It's we like, have to take all the personality, <laughs> all the humanity at all of this, of it. all of the sex you know, and sexiness. You out can of it. you can you can intuit the morality. Yeah. Of these people. Right. By, <laughs> by looking they, at the by art. Actions. It's yes. it's really bad. Oh, here's another one. Oh man, we got kind of a plus size kind of person over here. Uh, yeah. Some 
you know, all the degenerate yeah. <laughs> beast people <laughs> <laughs> in it. We have a literal and also, furry. <laughs> furry and a tiefling, even though they're not, not tieflings. Yeah. But also, this doesn't make any sense. Why would you have these two people doing like ballroom dancing? Yeah. The thick chick with the ponytail ha- has an like, evening like, gown yeah. on, like <laughs> with like these two ruffians by the docks who are arm wrestling, and those other two people, people below gambling, them that are gambling. <laughs> and then you have this interspecies, interracial, uh, you know, foppish romance happening. It doesn't even make sense. Yeah. This is a pastiche with no. This is just slapped together. These are these are individual uh, pieces right. which have been slapped onto. An incredibly bland. This is this is the, the what what gets me so much with all of these. The backgrounds are so boring, boring and, and flat. They all look yeah. like they're not they're half finished. And we'll, as as an aesthetic choice, which sucks. And we'll we'll see some of these with the backgrounds that are because this is for this game. This is extremely detailed background. Extremely detailed. Extremely for this, detailed yeah. for this game. But here yeah. we it's like we have. Like the solar exalted. This is the person yeah. that they decided to draw. Boring. Boring. Standing Uniform. there. Uh, versus Harmonious Jade, the signature character of the series yeah. of Exalted, who is like athletic hot and action pose, hot you know. action pose. She's fucking shooting magical arrows out of her 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 Orichalcum bow. Like there's an entire comic about her in this uh, in this book that's fucking rad, um, versus person this. standing, androgynous, androgynous, burly, Formless. thick woman. Like there's yeah. there's no appreciation for the human body. The sword looks like garbage too. It looks like yeah. It's, it looks like it's fit yeah. Out it's of a all junkyard. fucking yeah. It looks exactly. And this is supposed up. to be an indestructible oracalcum blade. Like yeah. fuck you. And this is this is what this is your player character yeah. snapshot. Like I don't want to play this. I you know I what don't I want to be that person. You know what else I don't want to play? Associates with that person. I don't want to play this. At <laughs> the Infernal Exalted, which is just a uh, kind of kind of butch lady. Yeah. Who's not doing anything in particular. Not doing anything in particular. But if we switch over to the second edition, uh book of the infernal exalted so remember what we're looking at here this is the inf- this is the iconic infernal Random exalted this is the infernal exalted in second edition we got yeah. we got this bitch who's in like fucking fetish gear with giant tits yeah. she's like a nun mixed with santa claus mixed with <laughs> satan we yeah. got we got this mutated guy with this huge crab Love arm <laughs> eyeball like, crab arm yeah like everyone's yeah. a uh, a weirdo and a freak but they're all like monstrously they physically an fit they have an aesthetic they they radiate power yeah i would much rather be any oh. of those people than that this than, than whatever the fuck this bland shit is yeah like it's it's this doesn't convey anything to me uh or, or or again random uh, coast wall bar wench bar some wench reason with 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 again evil neon scythe for some reason zoloft face why is she raising a toast is Just that supposed com- to be funny no com- it's not it's complete there's nothing going on no expression there yeah. there's it's fucking nuts this is okay this is actually one of the only good pieces in this book you know there's yeah. there is something happening here there is someone who is a, at least attractive and, ho- and heroic looking, mm-hmm. fighting something. But again, yeah, even her expression, flat. yeah, not flat. Even her expression though is still kind of soft and like what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this one's good. Oh yeah. <laughs> I feel nothing. I feel Neither nothing. I nor yeah. the lion. <laughs> <feel anything. laughs> the lion is like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like tranked up or something. Yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah. <laughs> there's just yeah, no expression yeah. anywhere. Opt up on Valium. Next one. No expression. No what expression, am I doing? I'm, I'm oh, at, I'm signing some sort of infernal reading, contract. What and yeah. What the fuck? This one is just bad. Like, uh, okay. Like, what even is this? Like, this looks like something on like an iPhone game ad, you know? Yeah. Like, can you get exactly. the can you get the treasure chest from the mechanical spider? I bet you can't. <laughs> <Right>. You know. <laughs> yeah. Clash of clans. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, whatever. You know. 
This, <laughs> <laughs> this, this is terrible we, art, but it's funny to me. Cause yeah. I'm playing a hypercube. Yeah. This, this is what we decided. Is this, this is bad art, but we we do like this piece because it's like we did realize he's he's playing a game with this cube. <laughs> like it's just so weird. But that one that one gets again a pass. that face and like what's going on in the background is that a curtain yeah no nobody, idea nobody, nobody knows it's just, it's some, just a random some brush gradient. strokes yeah <laughs> it sucks this one oh like so look at this boring. look at this fucking face is this yeah. a chick a dude yeah like what it looks like a, a kind of like a chick's face on a dude's on body. a dude's body yeah and again like how do you spend 30 seconds on that like what is it, a, a log or a pole right i don't like it's there's again it's so flat it's nothing so soft. in the background at all nothing in the background this is and again this, this game is what over made half over, a million dollars in our in in yeah in, uh, well no 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 money gets you this is an additional three hundred thousand uh, dollars exalted third edition was over six hundred thousand dollars this one i believe oh, exalted oh, right. essence was over three hundred thousand dollars and this is who they fucking paid to make art. Look at this. Like, oh my God. Yeah. This is so fucking bad. What's even but happening like here? A, yeah. I'm 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 bribing Look you in the expression. most It's just so stupid. It doesn't like they, they made an attempt. It just looks like the face is sort of smushed. Yeah. So this makes no sense. Like I'm holding a giant a gigantic sack of money, I presume, but I'm offering, yeah. I guess, as a bribe a little bit, like no, give me the actual bag, you dumb bitch. Like, yeah. why, why would I take? Why would I take the, take handful, the handful? Yeah. Angry girl versus Angry at, bored girls who are or just, yeah, bored girls. Yeah, she's reading <laughs> during reading. this war meeting. Um, oh, this is oh my god. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> in the and I swear to God, I'm not making this up. This was in, this is about inclusivity. And including people with disabilities in the game. We have a blacksmith with one <laughs> fucking arm. What that the looks fuck? Extra fucked up for some reason. Yeah. It's like, like there's definitely a stump in here. Yeah. This is about inclusivity. This is what like this awful philosophy gets you. As opposed yeah. to something like this, where again, strength, heroism, danger action this. these people yeah. are are larger than life yeah what the is a, fuck this is a game this with like with like crazy magitech stuff right like yeah if you wanted to even include this chick make her look badass and give her an awesome a fucking robot robotic arm, arm or yeah or like a you know whatever the the tech is in this game i mean that that blacksmith's hammer is, <laughs> okay. is magic yeah boring and Oh. I'll, leave, I'll leave it in boring, but this 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 sucks. is okay. So we have white girl from 2003, uh, yeah, <laughs> aesthetic walking around with a big hammer, waving at people. Um, this chick looks like she's diseased, right? <laughs> Albino, like <laughs> yeah, which she may be. You that know, may these... be a certain type of exalt now. Who knows? Yeah. Um, <laughs> this guy again there's no expression on anyone's I don't know face. where I'm going I don't know where I'm going and I feel nothing about this <laughs> <laughs> I've never been photographed yeah, this is, before this, is, this should be on the back of like you know an is, Ambien box yeah exactly this okay. is everyone has taken Ambien <laughs> <laughs> the, the, when the ambient kicks in <laughs> or no no yeah. this is this is him after he's taken all the ambient but he stayed up you know he, he didn't fall asleep <laughs> yeah. so now he's just yeah. walking around in a, in a daze in but again daze, it's like look yeah, at his everything his, is hazy his his limbs don't make sense like they yeah. don't nothing about his 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 proportions make any body sense doesn't make sense the yeah. torso doesn't make sense of course we have a giant fat chick as well like they they deliberately made a fucking fat chick that's who you're supposed yeah. to look up to and think is heroic <clears throat> fuck these people yeah. fuck these yeah. people and this if uh effeminate loser nerd a thinking pose for some reason yeah uh what are we doing out here <laughs> four people standing in a line glowing in a street for some reason with weapons out yeah. Very boring street. Nothing's happening. Like, what are the, what's going walls. on? We have no fucking what's clue. On? This one is much better than everything else because at least there's something happening. 
something something going on. There's a it, it looks more painterly, right. for lack of a better. But again, but again, Zoloft, yeah, yeah. <laughs> taking the the Prozac. We got our SSRIs. About the, yeah, the hordes of undead or demons yeah. or whatever these things are. It's it's literally the the sickly people who made this game put themselves in the game mm. and in your hero. Like, who the fuck wants to play this? I don't want to play this. Yeah. Nothing no. about this has anything that I want to be a part of. None of this is appealing in the slightest. Yeah. Mr. Yes. Fantastic arms, stretchy, <laughs> stretchy arms. <laughs> yeah, like purple, pa- purple tights and... <laughs> is something's, his skin has been removed or something. He's... I don't no, know. Maybe, I, the, maybe this is no another idea. new exalt type. Who fucking knows? Um... This at least, you know, like the the proportions make sense. Uh, they're fucking strong as fuck. There's a fight happening. There's action. Yeah, I don't like. The, I don't really expression. like the color. But this yeah. is like this. Okay, something's there's happening more here. Personality to it. Yeah, there's a lot more personality to it. And again, it looks like that was drawn with a pencil. Yeah. This is this is not this high oh art. This isn't the Mona Lisa. This yeah. isn't the Sistine Chapel. This looks I, like it was drawn with like. Like Crayola markers, <laughs> like on right, paper. Right. But even that. But even this, this something's more, happening. Yeah, these people are afraid. Something's happening. These people are rightfully afraid. Yeah. Uh, of what's going on. Whatever is happening. <laughs> Not so much. Yeah. Oh, this is super impressive. Magical blade is materializing. I guess I feel nothing about it. It looks like my head is too big for my body. It's okay. I took my pills today. (laughs) Yeah. Like what? Didn't want to have a microaggression during the during the game session and offense. (laughs) 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 I'm trying to see if I can find one of them that has like the the non-existent background. Um, Mm. There's one piece in particular. Uh, This one. Like, <laughs> like kind of cool. We got Abyssal on yeah. a chariot in the Shadowlands weird, driving uh, around. But uh, look at that background. Completely fucking flat. It's like she's driving on cement. Yeah. Like you said, a parking lot yesterday. Yeah. So Contrasted boring. with this. So bad. Con- yeah, with this. Look at this. This is cool. Again, same, 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 same character. Same Harmonious chick. Jade in the south. There's a fucking airship, you know, blasting you know turning the sand into glass basically nuking the fucking thing mm-hmm. we have the demons in hell this is what malpheus uh the demon basically with the green sun where all uh, all of the demon yozi lords live mm-hmm. the infernal exalted Infernals again the dragon yeah, blood so much better more evocative yeah like this art this is not expensive overwrought art right <clears throat> but it has so much more personality. So much more personality. And I hate that they, like, I hate that it has been so desexualized. Like, I don't need the game to be, like, about sex. But the, there's this thing where there's a, there is a hostility to yeah. sexualization. Beauty, yeah, beauty, beauty and quality and excellence. Right. That yeah. is that is I just want, so... I want the dudes to be buff. I want the chicks to be hot. Like, yeah. Especially in this where that leans into it. Everybody's right. supposed to be amped up. It's about heroic myth. Sense. Yes. But instead, have you met your new manager? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh my God. Yeah. And again, this guy's on so Zoloft. Sa- yeah. Dude, they cop- I think they copied and pasted his eyes. Same face. That's yeah, the same exactly. fucking face on each this one of them. It's so lazy. It's lazy. It's, it's 300,000 fucking dollars. Now, here is a piece that is actually fucking awesome. Look at this yeah. thing. This giant demon ape. You know. That's cool. That is fucking rad like and the scary. the only one in the book that's yeah, cool. That's the only one where I'm like, whoa, that's really good. But then we get sort of an action scene. And this guy's Not leg really, makes no sense. Yeah, the way uh, his torso is, is pivoting, yeah. it, makes, it makes no sense. What's actually happening? Are two sides converging on these guys in the middle? Yeah. Are they caught in the crossfire? They're just standing off. Even though a bone monster is firing off 
green lightning or, yeah. or something. No one is is exhausted or, or, or wounded or ended at, at, at all. I don't the care about any of these people. I don't want to play. I don't play. care about this. The background, again, the background yeah. is shit. Look yeah. Look at the background. Totally, flat totally flat and undetailed. This is shit. This is shit. This Did is you just? This is a point of view. You just committed a, a microaggression. <laughs> <laughs> They're all. Yeah. This is the thing. This is the artist's faces coming through. They're all right. snarling at you, sneering, sneering yeah, like, at you, like, oh, is that a cis white male? You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's so fucking Straight bad. Straight to prison. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know that's been outlawed? <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. fucking crazy. This is so bad. It, like his breastplate. Yeah. No detail on anything. Anything at all. Flat, soft, faded. Yeah. Expressionless. The right arm on that archer just looks like a mutant, like chicken wing. Right. <laughs> coming coming off. Yeah, again, nothing makes sense. The they, these these people had... Sense incredible fucking artists at their disposal they could get yeah. anybody to draw the pictures for their book they had as far as an art budget essentially, essentially unlimited, unlimited for, the purposes. for the purposes of yeah. a role-playing book basically yeah. unlimited and they hired this is what they got this is who they got they they hired tumblr artists or deviant art people deviant art yeah uh or more likely probably their their shitty friends um and, and this is this is like this is the type of art that you will see in every fifth edition product, every every mainstream modern product for the right. most part. And but but and I will now, say this and, is this is yes. like the worst aspects of all of the fifth edition art, like distilled right. down. Because this I do think a lot of the fifth edition art is better than this. And it doesn't come out the the, right. the sneering hatred for the audience doesn't come out. Yeah. You know, in, in mm -hmm. the other stuff. Whereas this does. And this is one of the things like yes. this game. I found a re an actually a really good channel about Exalted recently, um, and this guy has talked about some of the controversies and how um, he, you know, doesn't look back fondly on Second Edition, doesn't blame people for still playing it because there is still a big audience, but uh, was saying, you know, like at the time it was, you know, all being produced for the straight white men and blah 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 blah, and shut the, the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, first of all, shut the fuck up. Second of all, it's not even fucking true. Like the people who are like the artists who did Anyone a lot of this stuff. Anyone can buy this product. Not, but but beyond that, I was acquainted yeah. with with some of the artists who were doing stuff mm -hmm. in this. These were not straight white male like normie like bro like let's let's like let's check all oh, this chick's got yeah. tits. Yeah, no, it was yeah. like people who were kind of weirdos. Like some of which were were li <laughs> on internet forums <laughs> were literally drawing the signature characters of this game in the signature style of the game, we're drawing like gay porn of them. <laughs> like <laughs> this is, this was not some like bastion of like normalcy, normalcy. Or... No, it's, yeah. it was like this beacon, <laughs> beacon for degeneracy basically. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and even, even that graded even more. Right. And, yeah. and it, but, it, but the, even, even like what, what would be, what was considered degeneracy at the time was such a more healthy view of the world and of like, <laughs> of like heroism and beauty and wonder right. and, and, and all of this. And now we get fucking this, this, yeah. Like this is so, a crime. Like these people should be yeah. put in Gitmo. <laughs> like accurate like seriously like these people belong in Gu guantanamo bay they've ruined this game because yeah. it doesn't matter that, the, the game and, and if the mechanics it doesn't matter if the mechanics have been improved yeah. or whatever or the lore has been improved like they've uh -huh. they have obliterated the heart the heart and everything. soul of this game like it's just it's fucking infuriating yeah like, and i mean look this, at that. this is graceful powerful so much better this guy's like a fucking mountain. Yeah, like a a build like a brick shit house. Yeah, uh, badass. This dude is like an incredibly powerful warrior. You get this the sense and the feel mm -hmm. of power and excellence and wonder, and that's what this game of is in particular when you're playing the Solar Exalted. It is about 
excellence and like it uh, it's just it's it's such yeah. a fucking shame it is such if a fucking shame you're looking at modern like modern products right now and you're looking at art like this or you're wonder like the writing or the premise of the game really drew me in and and nothing else it, it seems like they're antagonistic or not addressing the things which are actually cool right uh you're not you're not crazy this is a tent this is a trend which has played out across all all mainstream all like a b and c tier um game publishers at mm -hmm. this point this like miserable degenerate um anti-excellence anti-beauty yeah um mindset and worldview and like design philosophy yeah um so, it is evil but like again, it it, it like is this, it is evil the the exaltation of ugliness uh is is a that is, is something that you can see immediately and you know in your gut and in your soul that this antagonism to beauty is wrong and yet they try yes. to rationalize this and try to force you to convince yourself that it's actually good and that this yeah was bad yeah. that this was evil you mm -hmm. know it's and it's like no i do not accept that yeah. this is no and, and fucking no, and rad no because it's it's wrong yeah, yeah it's this wrong is, this is so much so much better and uh you know when you meet someone like that or you see the fruits of someone who has that mindset like you said you know that in their heart they're evil they harbor an anti-human yes um uh worldview and if they had the power uh, they would do unspeakable things to you and feel right. nothing but joy and moral righteousness in doing so right this is uh this is truly just like catastrophic evil and it yeah, made these people me are, are demons they're these people these people are <laughs> demons <laughs> <laughs> and not the cool kind <laughs> <Not> the... <laughs> Right. <laughs> not the badass hot kind, you know, with like yeah. a sexy nun in fetish gear, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, like, look at this. They're, like, parading through hell. Yeah. You've got these... Action scene. It's fucking, all, it's, it's yeah, just black and white. This is not expensive. This does not require a tremendous art budget. Right. They could have afforded this ten times over. Ten times over. It would have been immeasurably... Better. better yeah you get like all this crazy weird shit where there's like talking spiders and this fucking i don't know she's birthing something um this book in particular is uh where a lot of the uh controversy came from in uh -huh. in exalted second edition because there is some crazy uh this is this is the in the infernals book this, this is, is the, the infernals book. book yeah right? these are the people these are demons be. from hell who are all about like torture yeah, and you, and corruption? Yeah. You want you want anything more than a lukewarm, uh, surface level tepid evil? Uh, right. To fight against. Yeah, and this is the other thing that this this whole shit of like safety in in games and everything like this yeah. and and like it's just this so up oh, can't show that that has boobs in it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. This like just horrible dungeon where they got like a fucking ape tied up like <laughs> <laughs> who knows what yeah more just like a, a ton of crazy crazy shit but this whole this whole thing of like they they completely desexualized the game they made it so like if there's any attempt at sed seduction in the game at all mm -hmm. all the players at the table have to be comfortable with it or it automatically fails no matter what so like imagine Imagine playing with these people. Imagine playing this. Imagine watching a movie. Imagine reading a great book of literature that had, yeah, dark, not even not even dark theme. Like seduction is not a dark theme. It's no. a thing that happens. Like, right. Like, have you ever asked someone out on a date? Or you know, have you have you ever been in a straight relationship? To jail. Like, do you think straight to like, jail? Th straight to jail. Like, um, no. It's the these are fundamental aspects of the human condition and moreover dramatic a fundamental foundational dramatic circumstances yeah anger 
rage, desire, love, lust. These things are what the stor the stories, uh, the great stories are come back to again and again. Even right. even the shit stories. You can only make a story about these things. The things which are are memorable. Yeah. Yeah. Ima imagine reading a book and having a big you know, like. You know, like a Philip Philip Morris no smoking warning sign mm -hmm. uh, when there was a scene, uh, a scene of seduction or a scene of violence. Right. Right. Um, do not go any further unless. You Is know, everyone you know, okay with this? Disclaimer: Or the movie fucking stops. Yeah. In the movie theater, or even in your home, uh, like at, on your TV, you have to you have to consent. Yes. The the vi the uh, the video camera on your home television, which is connected to the powers that be are watching you and they need everyone in your living room to um to commit and uh give consent to watch right. the next scene happen it's it's just it's utterly destructive of having a good game oh, yeah. of just of any anything human civilization any human whatsoever. civilization basically yeah the, the, it's just yeah. it's fucking evil they took something great yeah. and they murdered it um right. so onyx path fuck you yeah Unfortunately, you're not making nearly as much money as you want. Yeah. I saw, I saw your, uh, they came from uh, Kickstarter, barely, barely, like 20, gra 20 grand, $20,000, like, I know. Yeah. Which, yeah, believe me, for like, us, if we raised $20,000 on something, would be a pretty big deal, but you guys have been running pretty big fucking million-dollar Kickstarters and shit for yeah. 15 and we years would or not, 10 years. We would not, uh, we would not squander the art budget. No. Oh, all. my God. Yeah. Uh, yeah, twenty grand would be amazing. It'd be filled, yeah, with gorgeous art, right? Of jack dudes and beautiful women, beautiful hot and, chicks, and, and great, uh, you know, uh, dramatic action scenes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like it's just. Oh, here we go. You know what's interesting about this photo or this this <laughs> picture? This blacksmith has two fucking arms. Two arms. Two fucking yeah. arms. Oh my God! Which you kind of need. You kind uh, of need them. Yeah. <laughs> so ridiculous. I don't need to. I don't need to hold the the molten hot piece of iron uh, yeah. down when I hit it as hard as I can with a hammer. So Just, it doesn't burn my black my uh, my forge down or uh, singe my uh, all on my foot. Then I'm not only I haven't lost an uh, lost just an arm. I've lost a leg as well. Right. This yeah. is just un so, unbelievably angering. Um, yeah. I was having such a good time earlier in this episode. We were, you know, talking about <laughs> positivity and good, and good things and good values, and then we just watched the other utter destruction of it. Destruction of something that was <sighs> was, was great. Something made into something vile and inverted and evil. Again, so. this th here this is a visual representation, a visual example, a series of examples that, as we've said from the get go, and as was the theme running through this discussion on tense and, and talking in, uh, speaking in dialogue and not divorcing yourself from your character. There is such a thing as quality. You can get yes. better. You should want to get better. Not for anybody else, not as a performative act for yourself. Yes. Because your experience is going to be better. Do not waste your time trying to... Uh, find um inspiration in a modern book that is written by people that despise you and yeah. would put you in jail yeah at the very least if they had the power um and their art is garbage and they hate beauty yeah um and do not listen to people at your table or online or anywhere else who tell you that um the the, the uh, all games are the same, and all games are essentially just to have fun and um, taking any kind of effort, um, attempting to improve in any sort of way, and giving any sense of sincerity uh, to a game is cringe or gay or wrong yeah. or um, you know, and you know, pick pick your pick your word. These people are wrong. These people are. Um, not want what's what's best for you let's yeah. put it that way yeah or anyone 
They are anti-man, for that matter. Anti-civilization, anti-beauty, yes. anti-art, anti all of the things that you know we hold dear and want to raise up as the goodness that humanity has has created. So fuck these villains. Fuck mm-hmm. the new editions of Exalted. Yes. Uh, and <laughs> and with that, I think uh, we've we've gone a little long this time as, again, uh, having yes. a lot of fun talking about this stuff. But of course. We should wrap it up. We are going to have our, uh, of course, Thursday night live streams going on. Cyberpunk yes. um, potentially coming back Hopefully this week. Hopefully we'll be returning yeah. this, this weekend. We, yeah. we hope uh, if scheduling... If scheduling uh, is, works out, um, but so, otherwise that, that game is just going to be played intermittently uh, when we can. And we have another game or two coming up uh, that oh, will yeah. be maybe a little more consistent, but maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So would love it who to be knows? consistent, but uh, we, every, everybody who's in the <laughs> the woes of scheduling. Yeah. Uh, so we are not immune to it either. Yep. Um, but with, with that... I think uh, I think you were correct, Matt. I think we've set our piece for this uh, this episode. And yeah. uh, well, as always, no apologies. Next time. Remember, no apologies, no, no compromises. compromises.